Hello everyone, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Hope everybody's doing fantastic out there. And I am here at San Diego Comic Con and I am right here at the Sideshow Collectibles booth. I cannot wait to film this. I've actually already had a sneak peek to tell you the truth, but it is gonna be just the thrill of a lifetime to check out this booth, to see what they have. It is absolutely just blowing my mind. I can't believe I'm here. It's a thrill of a lifetime, a dream of a lifetime to finally be able to tour this booth. So without further ado, let's check out the Sideshow Collectibles booth right now. All right, guys, so we're starting here at the Prime One booth, and I had to start with Joker, of course. This is the incredible Joker. Absolutely, you know, incredible George Jimenez, which looks just absolutely insane. The detail on him is just insanely good. It's really impressive. Uh, again, uh, this is definitely a two-piece set. You, know, you can order them separately, obviously, but I mean, look at that. Absolutely incredible. Punchline, of course. Again, this is all George Jimenez which looks great. Uh, here's some detail on the base itself. Which, as you can see, you can uh, you know, separate it out if you want. You don't have to have both. But again, just very, very impressive detail on her. It's absolutely phenomenal. Let me show you the Joker again, portrait on him. Just looks amazing. Definitely glad I ordered both of these. Can't wait to add them to my collection. Here, of course, we have the uh, Robert Pattinson Batman from the Batman movie. Uh, I did talk to uh, John at Prime One and they are gonna swap out the head. So hopefully I'll get you guys footage of the uh, actual portrait with the mask on, with the cowl. Uh, this has got a pretty sizable base, not as, not as big, of course, as the <laughs> Joker and Punchline. But here again, you can see the just incredible detail which is really impressive. Dan Default, this one's coming home to you, buddy. Really awesome. Got this one from Dune. Great likeness on this one, really impressive. This one's quarter scale, as you guys can see. And then around the corner, we have some more amazing Prime One. We've got Green Lantern. This is just insanely good. It's very, very impressive. As you guys can see, this is just a massive, massive statue. Beautiful. The uh, great green effect looks phenomenal. Got the squirrel right there. Great paint effects. Great portrait. Looks amazing. And of course, you have Sinestro as well. I just wish you guys could really see like how big these things are in person. Again, these are third scale. Just absolutely incredible. The detail, absolutely insane. So impressed. Massive, massive base. Uh, we have some more Prime One over here. This one definitely uh, is going on my list. This is Vamprilla, third scale. Again, Prime One Studio. Absolutely impressive uh, from top to bottom. This one's coming home to the Batcave. I had to see it in person, of course. It's very, very awesome. Again, beautiful portrait. Incredible sculpt. Incredible, incredible. But absolutely beautiful statue. Again, just cannot wait to own this one. Here, of course, you have Ripley. I think she looks really good. The portrait looks really good in person. I don't know if this is the updated portrait, but if it is, it looks really phenomenal. Uh, they've definitely improved it, in my opinion. Uh, great detail on this one. Uh, I, and again, I just feel like that likeness is very, very good. Of course, you have the side over here as well, which looks awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, so let's head over this way here and see what else we got. Let's go right over here. Here we have the uh, J. Scott Campbell pieces. This one's really stunning. This, of course, is the uh, Red Riding Hood. 
And this is the brand new one right here. This is the Evil Queen. She looks great. Obviously, she's got the magic mirror. That's a separate proximity piece, which looks amazing. Really, really good. Obviously, then you have the Tinkerbell up front. This is the variant on the Tinkerbell. Fall variant. And then, of course, we have the Alice in Wonderland. That's the variant as well. And then back there in the back, we have, of course, Cinderella. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. And I do apologize for glass glare. But just so, so impressive. All right, let's head over this way here. And we'll see some Batman stuff right here. We've got Harley Quinn right there with the incredible Joker. This one's really fun in person. I think I'm gonna have to pick this one up. It is a smaller scale than I like, but it's still very, very awesome. Very, very cool. And of course, here's some new ones right here. We've got the Harley Quinn, which looks really good in person, actually. I know not everybody likes the base, but I do think that she looks nice. Obviously, brand new to the show, brand new, just revealed recently. And of course, we have the Joker as well, the Clown Prince, sculpted by the incredible Daniel Bell. We always love everything that Daniel touches, which is awesome. Very, very cool. The base is, is really good in person. I like the base, but man, this portrait is just so good. I walked by it. Look at that. Just very, very awesome. Creepy. You get a close-up of Harley's face, too. So you guys can see it a little bit better. Again, it looks great. Here we have the brand new Bat Bike. Robert Pattinson. This piece is really nice. It does not look underscaled. I know some people thought maybe it was. It looks really good. Obviously, really great detail on him. Looks awesome. Very, very cool. And it's a little bit hard to see with the glass. But looks great. This piece is nuts. So, like, you really cannot truly fathom how big this piece is. Um, it's so impressive. Again, this is also sculpted by Daniel Bell, and it's just it is incredible with the light-up feature. It's really, really good. Uh, I don't know how I could not buy this piece. Um, it is so large. It is so massive. Uh, again, great portrait, great texturing on this. And again, the light-up feature itself is just something special. Uh, it's just very, very awesome. That is cool. Uh, we also have the um, Batman and Catwoman maquette. This is uh, not, uh, it's, a, it's a, not a maquette, sorry, it's a diorama. Um, this one looks really good in person. It is not quarter scale, as you guys know, but it's still an awesome statue. This one I highly recommend. Um, this is, I think, going to be a sleeper piece. It just looks really, really great. Let me see if I can get you kind of a side here. Again, sorry for the glare, guys. Just really, really awesome. Looks fantastic. All right, let's move over. Sorry about that, excuse me. Uh, let's look over to the Mythos line, of course. We've got the Obi-Wan Kenobi Mythos. This one looks great. But of course, the star of the show is gonna be Vader here, which is just absolutely incredible. Uh, we also have Anakin Mythos. right there and then again we have Vader which is just so good again very very impressive piece I I cannot recommend this one enough uh, from top to bottom again uh, Mythos Vader again the premium format looks great uh, but man this thing is something special again I do apologize for the glare but it's just very very well done So cool. Sorry, he's kind of hard to hard to capture guys with the glare, but 
really, really good. Mythos line, you cannot go wrong. All right, over here we have the uh, Boba Fett. This is the brand new life-size bus. This thing is massive. Uh, weathering on him looks great. Obviously, this is the Sarlacc version of him, which looks fantastic. Very, very cool. Just fantastic. Here's the premium format, and it uh, again, it, it just looks fantastic too. I love the light-up feature. Again, really impressive. Cannot go wrong with this piece. But again, if you have to choose between the two, it's a tough one. They're both really awesome. Really cool. We also have the General Grievous over here as well. General Grievous premium format. This thing has got a really big base. Very, very awesome. <laughs> very cool piece. For all the Star Wars fans out there. Uh, we'll move over here to see Ahsoka. This is one of the best sideshow portraits ever done, in my, in my opinion. It is so impressive in person. She looks phenomenal. This is a no-brainer piece for you guys to order this one. Just really, really good. Really, really good. Again, we've got the Boba Fett right there. Looks incredible. This is the brand new one. The, the rock work looks really good. I really like what I see here. This is really awesome. And very, very impressive. And we've got classic Thor, premium format. This looks really good. Really cool base on this. Very fun. It's a fun piece. It looks good. Uh, we got Doctor Doom. This is a big piece as well. Really big piece. Looks really great. A lot of detail on this. Really awesome. Then you have the banners in the back if you want to display it that way. But again, big, big piece. From Sideshow. Really awesome. We also have Stargirl here. Looks great. She looks great, obviously, has that great star effect. Looks awesome. You also, of course, have Scarlet Witch, which is awesome as well. Very cool effect. She's really good in person. Of course, we also have Storm. That great light-up feature. She's been shipping from Sideshow recently. Great light-up feature on that. She looks really good. And of course, we have the new Psylocke as well. This one is really impressive in person. I really like this one. I like the Force perspective. Got that great moon in the background. It's a very, very well done piece. I really like this one a lot. Again, I'm a bag I'm a Batman guy, you guys know that, but this is this is awesome. It's a really beautiful portrait. Let's see if I can get in a little a little tighter. All right, let's come over here to the uh, maquette. So this is the Phoenix and Jean Grey maquette. This is actually a really large piece. Um, to me, it looks a, a little smaller, obviously, than quarter. But it is a really, really big piece. Lots of great detail on this one. I mean, look at that. It's just crazy. Kind of zoom back here so you guys can see the whole thing. Got Nightcrawler as well. Great premium format, very dynamic. I really like what Sideshow's done on this one. 
great bass, very dynamic, just very, very cool. Great portrait. Of course, you have the classic Hulk versus Hulkbuster maquette. $1,200 USD on this one. Still a very fun piece. First time I'm seeing a lot of these in person, obviously, which is really, really exciting. Got Autumn up there in the booth. Say hi to Autumn. <laughs> hi, Autumn. All right, let's see what else we have over here. Excuse me. All right, let's hit the new Miles Morales. Again, with the uh, Force Perspective bases. Seeing them in person, they're actually really, really well done. I was actually talking uh, with the art director uh, earlier, and I really like what they've done with these. I think they've done a really nice job. Uh, obviously, this is uh, one of the newest ones. And of course, uh, Spider Gwen, which we have seen before. She's very dynamic. I really like this one. And then, of course, we also have a brand new Spider Man as well. And Spider Man sculpted by Daniel Bell. Just revealed today for the very first time. Very dynamic. This one is very, very comic book accurate looking. I love the anatomy on this. Uh, it's very, very fun. Uh, it just looks great. Again, force perspective base. Uh, let me show you the backside. The backside's e e cool as well. Lots of great color on him. But all, all three of these look just phenomenal together. Really, really phenomenal. Very, very cool. All right, coming over here, we've got the Iron Man maquette. Great light, light up features on this one. We've seen this one before, but this is a new one here. Obviously, this is the Iron Man Mark III. Uh, premiered at Sideshow Con, obviously. I don't think this one has a light-up feature. Uh, some people have liked the base, some people not. It's a very large, round base. Very reminiscent of their older piece, their old maquette. And then, of course, on the front side here, we've got the Black Panther himself. Very, very cool stylized base. Going up into a great portrait of Black Panther. See if I can get in a little tighter for you guys. But looks good to me. In great detail on him. From top to bottom. Alright, let's hunt down a few more statues, shall we? Here we have uh, from Black Flag Resident, uh, excuse me, Assassin's Creed. Big, big piece. I'm trying to remember, I believe this is a Pure Arts that did this one. Pure Arts. Uh, we also have a Pure Arts Soren life size mask, which is very, very impressive. Large piece. Very, very cool. And again, Pure Arts booth right here. Uh, we have a great piece here. This is really fun with the screen. Uh, this is uh, Johnny Silverhand right here. That's a fun piece. Again, looks really good. Some other pieces here from them. Right there, we got uh, six scale. And then we've got a liquid metal Terminator 2. These busts are fun. They're uh, you know pretty good size. You guys can see kind of how big they are next to my hand. T1000. Looks really, really good. Really awesome. This is also from Pure Arts. Very impressive looking piece. Very, very massive. I don't know if you guys can see just how, how massive this thing is. And then right next to this one, of course, we have this brand new piece again from them. Um, just absolutely incredible. Basically the size of a third scale. Very, very cool. 
This one's very impressive. Got a great uh, cut and sew on her. Looks really awesome. Very fun. Got the uh, Pure Arts Batman cowl, life-size cowl. This one looks great in person. It is, uh, you know, a polystone material, but you can't go wrong with 89. Very cool. Again, life size right there. Very, very awesome. Uh, I see a con exclusive. Obviously, this is from Iron Studios right here. The uh, Loki 110 scale. And we also have some pieces uh, from Paul Hernandez right here. This is, uh, sorry, Jesse Hernandez, sorry. That was my bad. Some great pieces from, from him. Thanos is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Big Thanos. Very, very cool. And of course, again, these are from Jesse. Really All right, so here we have a piece from Iron Studios. You see the uh, portrait on this. So again, that's Captain America, Sam Wilson. Also got some smaller scale stuff from Iron Studios here. Uh, of course, they have their own booth, which I will film for you guys. This quarter scale one's really neat. Luke and Grogu. Of course, R2 as well. It's very cool. What are you guys doing tonight? Uh, of course, we also have the 1 4 scale Darth Maul. This great new hot toys Starfighter here, really impressive, massive piece. You can see kind of how big, how big it is compared to the people around it. It's a massive, massive piece. Very, very cool. We have some great sideshow art here on the walls. Got some sideshow art prints, which look great. Really, really awesome. These are some of the new statues here um, on display from Sideshow. I believe Grog is a new one that uh, just premiered this week. I'm not sure of the scale, maybe one, one six, maybe one fifth. Hmm. And we just saw her premiered this week as well. Yeah, uh, she's beautiful. Really, really well done. Kind of a new line, which is awesome. Really beautiful statue. Again, I'm not as familiar with these. But they're fun. Yeah, another one there. I might have missed this area over here. Of course, the Tweeterhead Catwoman looks fantastic. Got Superman. Again, these are ones that we've seen for a while. Looks really great. Of course, we've got Dark Side. Looking good. Of course, we've got the Chris Reeves Superman. 
He looks really good. What do you guys think of that portrait? Looks awesome. Hey, look, there's Jeff Delady. What's up? How are you doing? Are you as overwhelmed as I am? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> oh, I love it. I've been hanging out with Jeff all weekend. It's really cool to hang out with them before the show actually opened, which is awesome. Again, Superman looks great. Come around the corner here, and we'll, of course, see a couple more. Black Canary, of course. Jeff has her. Beautiful piece. It's always awesome to see these in person. And of course, Power Girl as well. Power Girl is currently shipping at Sideshow as we speak. Looks really good. Really, really awesome. So Jeff, do you have a favorite so far? That Darth Vader premium format is better in person than on the site, so I'm very tempted to pick that one up. I agree. What, do you, really cool. what about uh, the Mythos? Uh, the Mythos is crazy. Crazy good. It. It's two feet wide. It's so huge. It's big. I don't know. Keep going, man. I know. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right. Here's the Christopher Reeve Superman. Okay. Let's see. We've got... I don't think I did this yet. The Mandalorian. With uh, Grogu, of course. This one's been shipping from Sideshow for a while now. <laughs> that looks great. Obviously, we also have these brand new. These are just premiered this week at Sideshow Con. This is the uh, Grogu Premium Format. Again, this is a set of three. Uh, so you've got Grogu there. And a couple more. And this is very reminiscent of the actual, um, uh, you know, the life size which is great. This one's fun too. Really, really awesome. Really, really awesome. And again, that Boba Fett, I did show you that. Again, just really, really awesome. Give you guys kind of an overview of the booth. Oh, missed these too. How could I miss these? We got this incredible Venom. This thing is massive. Again, this is quarter scale, but really large. Very, very impressive. Absolutely love this. Very, very awesome. Of course, you have the Symbiote Spider-Man as well. This one's been shipping for some time, but looks great. Come around here, and I'll get the uh, the brand new Carnage. As well, this one's very impressive in person, very dynamic. It's a really nice flow to it. Just looks very, very good. Really fun, and again, just th next to Venom, they just they pair up so perfectly. This is really well done by Sideshow. Really, really good. Got some six scale figures here. These were very fun. Uh, and here we have the Crow back there as well. This is the Crow Premium Format, again from Sideshow, which looks fantastic. And the brand new Clint Eastwood, right there. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. Very, very cool. Hey, how you doing? It's, hey, look who it is. It's Todd Father right there. How's it going? Do you mind being on camera? <laughs> this is no. It just it's it's not live, but it's gonna be it's gonna be on the channel. That's for sure. So, what, how is it going so far? That's awesome. Uh, yeah, it was actually I got to go in a little bit earlier uh, before everybody else. So it was really cool just to be kind of to kind of walk around with nobody here. It's right. That's right. It's so freaking awesome. Have you seen the Twitterhead booth yet? No. I it's great. Not. It's too much right now. I know. It's like I still am just like in shock of how much there is to see. Have you been here before? No. First time. First time. First time. Well, yeah. Just yeah. absolutely yeah. great. <laughs> A couple of great pieces here from, of course, The Witcher. We got Yennefer as well. 
And she looks great. Again, these are not quarter scale, but they have real nice presence to them. Again, I do apologize to the, for the glare. And then, of course, we've got one more back here as well. Sorry. I'm just trying to get out of your way. <laughs> no, no worries. Thank you. And, of course, we have Geralt as well. All right, we'll come over here and check out some of the six scale stuff. There's Amy. Say hi, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> nice to finally meet you here at the con. Yeah, five nine. I'm not lying. Hey, I love it. I love it. I love everything you do for Sideshow. You are absolutely fantastic. You know what? When I remember that my job is to tell other people why this stuff is so good. No, I love it. I love it. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Pardon me. Sorry. All right, let's come over here and check out the brand new Cad Bane. This looks really awesome. Again, the Hot Toys, of course. This is the show version. And then, of course, we've also got some other Boba Fetts as well. All these are, of course, Hot Toys, 1-6 scale. This is, uh, of course, the 1-4 scale. Um, but this is a figure, which looks great. And again, we've got some other ones as well right over here from The Mandalorian. And those look great. Very awesome. We'll come over here. See some of the Star Wars pieces. Over here. So this one actually looks way better in person than it did in the photos. Uh, the likeness is pretty good, actually. It's not perfect, but it's uh, very good. Again, Hot Toys. I think it looks pretty darn good there. Yeah, better, way better in person than in photos, for sure. Of course, you have the uh, six-scale Vader back there. Some great pieces again from Hot Toys. Got the Con exclusive right back here. He's awesome. Of course, we've got some Dark Knight figures as well. Catwoman. Got the great Bat Pod, which looks awesome. Batman himself. Bruce Wayne, of course. The Armory. Now, this is the quarter scale. Right here, real nice size piece. an idea of the size of him. Uh, this is a Batman 89 and I believe this is all brand new. Uh, so this is a brand new um, version of him 89 with the uh, gargoyle in the background which is great. That's uh, where Joker got tied up. You also have a great bat computer. This is brand new as well. It's very very impressive. With the 89 figure back there. So again this is all brand brand new. New bat signal here. What do you know? You just need to. You get hot toys with the Pattinson figure. He looks really good. Great detail on him. Obviously, it's got a light-up feature with the uh, bat bike itself. But again, it's really cool to see the bat computer from '89. That's really neat. And again, it's the first time we're seeing this. Again, six scale bat bike, real nice detailing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's very, very good detail. Also have the uh, John Cena Peacemaker 
good likeness on him, I think. Fun piece. Real fun. Uh, of course, we've got some other hot toys here as well from Marvel fans. Awesome looking figures. As well. Hey. Yeah, absolutely. And some more Marvel here, hot toys. In all six scale. This one's really impressive with the wings. It's very, very cool. Again, this one's really, really neat too. This one is a quarter scale Iron Spider. It's a really, really large piece. It's a new Buzz Lightyear. He's really good. Fun piece. And of course, we also have a 1 4 scale. This one's another really big one. Really, really cool. Now, this is that new Con exclusive one right here. Uh, he looks blue. I mean, he does look blue. I, I think it looks very, very good in person. Cool piece. Can you have another quarter scale here? This one's massive. Really, really massive at quarter scale. But it looks neat. It's great likeness. And then, of course, you also have a little bit of better angle on the Iron Spider. Here's the new Fawns. He's fun, six scale, great likeness on him. Really, really good. Hey, we got Nosferatu. This one's really fun. No, I just finished getting my little tools. Looks great. Again, here's another Fawns right here. The Happy Days logo, that's fun. Uh, you got a great Vincent Price. This is this this likeness is insanely good. These are all done by Infinite Studios. Really good. Just love that. Burt Reynolds. <laughs> that's a fun little piece. Paul Newman. These likenesses are really good. A little smaller scale. We also, of course, have the uh, Nutty Professor here as well. We'll come around here, guys. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yeah. And, of course, we've got Marlon Brando. Yeah, of course. That's the left collecting. And this is a fun piece right here. Again, some more six scale figures. The great Bella Lugosi. Looks good. Again, fun, fun piece. Fair enough, fair enough. War Machine. These are all really awesome. I didn't know if I was going to get here. Some great pieces again, all from Hot Toys. Fun pieces. Spider Gwen. Some great Loki ones as well. It's awesome. Good likeness on him in person. All these look really good. Really good. 
tênis, jaqueta, eles acham muito legal, cara. That's phenomenal. E aqui, ó, got Angelina Jolie here. Ah, tem o Didi Lock aqui. Olha a cara. Tudo boneco, se não está falando. Olha a cara, maluco, olha essa escultura. Crazy, awesome piece here. <laughs> and some great, great pieces. Star Lord and Ultron, which is really great. And then, of course, we've got Zombie Captain America as well. It's a fun one. Hawkeye, of course. Kate Bishop. Those are a lot of fun. And we've got Moon Knight back there as well. Really great piece.
guys thank you so very much for watching today and if you're new here please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos I think you're going to love them and also please join us on social media Facebook Twitter Instagram and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun thank you guys so very much for watching see you in the Batcave